right how are you i'm going to look at geometry and logic geometry deals with shapes and angles and it also has logic logic is formal correct thinking reasoning and inference logic is not something humans are born with we have to learn it and geometry is a great way to learn to be logical so in this presentation you will learn the inverse converse contrapositive and biconditional of conditional statements the if then of a conditional statement we have if then we write the hypothesis in front then then we write the conclusion hypothesis is assertion that is the given information conclusion is the inference and it depends on the hypothesis an example if two segments are congruent then they have the same length the hypothesis is this and the conclusion is this one so since the conclusion depends on the hypothesis a conditional statement can be false or true example if i ask more questions in class then i will understand the mathematics better that is true i if i understand the mathematics better then i will ask more questions in class that is false because once you understand the maths in class then you are not going to ask more questions let us look at the negation of a conditional statement right to negate a conditional statement you add or remove the word not from the statement to change its truth value from true to false or from false to true example conditional statement if two segments are congruent then they have the same length that is very true now to negate that if two segments are not congruent then they have not the same length now we go on to define what is the inverse converse and contrapositive of a conditional statement but just know that a conditional statement once it's given it's easy to identify the hypothesis and the conclusion then when you want its converse you simply switch the hypothesis and conclusion its inverse you negate the hypothesis and the conclusion its contrapositive you negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion of the con converse statement right so this is how we define this let us look at the following example so that you see them at work the conditional statement is if plants have water then they will grow the inverse which is simply negating the hypothesis and the conclusion if plants have no water then they will not grow that's the inverse the converse if plants grow they have water is just switching the hypothesis and the conclusion so this is all what it takes then the contrapositive we are going to negate the converse if plants do not grow then they do not have water okay let us now define the biconditional statement it is a conjunction that is a combination of conditional and its converse but you need to take note that the conditional statement and the converse both should have true or false values right so we then write the biconditional statement as 
hypothesis, then we tuck in the if and only if, which is shortened as IFF, then conclusion. So we have removed the if then and tucked the in between the hypothesis and the conclusion, if and only if. This means if hypothesis, then conclusion. And if conclusion, then hypothesis. You will see that this statement represents the what the um, converse, and this statement represents the what the conditional statement, right? This is why for the biconditional statement, you make sure that the conditional statement is true and the converse is true. So let us look at this example of a biconditional statement. The conditional statement given is if an angle is a right angle, then its measure is 90 degrees. That is correct. The converse, if the measure of an angle is 90 degrees, then it is a right angle. Now we have switched the hypothesis and the conclusion. And again, that is very true. Then the biconditional statement uh, we are simply going to take the hypothesis and the conclusion and tuck in the middle, the if and only if. But the fact that now we have seen that the conditional statement and the converse both are true, then we have the biconditional statement, which simply states that an angle is a right angle if and only if its measure is 90 degrees. And that is very correct. Okay, the key takeaways from this presentation, you should know that a conditional statement comes with the hypothesis and the conclusion, and you can write it in the form if, then. So if you want its converse, you simply switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. The inverse, you negate the hypothesis and the conclusion. The contrapositive, you negate the conclusion and the hypothesis, but of the converse, because our converse is this one, this is what this, so this is what we are going to negate here to get our what? Our contrapositive. The biconditional, you simply take the hypothesis and tuck in the if and only if. So hypothesis, if and only if, or you can say conclusion if and only if, because the conditional statement and the converse are both true in this case. Let us look at this example. A number divisible by two and three is divisible by six. It's a correct statement and we can identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. So in the if then form to write that condition, that conditional statement, we are saying if a number is divisible by two and three, then it is divisible by six. That's the conditional statement. Now it's converse. We simply switch, starting now with the divisibility by six. So if a number is divisible by six, then it is divisible by two and three. It's inverse. You simply negate the hypothesis and the uh, conclusion, tucking in the word not. So if a number is not divisible by two and three, then it is not divisible by six. Contrapositive, you negate the converse. If this is our converse, we are going to negate it. If a number is not divisible by six, then it is not divisible by two and three. By conditional, we check on the conditional statement and the converse, both are true. Therefore, in this case, our biconditional is a number is divisible by six if and only if it is divisible by two and three. And that is the correct statement. Okay, this is all what I planned because the if then uh, of Conditional statement is important because most of the properties or theorems, they come in that format. Thank you very much.